Whenever somebody takes on a new goal, a new hobby, maybe wants to get into the gym, maybe wants to quit smoking, whatever the reason is, whenever they're trying to improve themselves, sadly, most of the time people fail. And they fail for many reasons, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about opportunity cost and how they ignore time. My name is Jared Schumacher. This is Magnetic Men's Club. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon, leave a comment down below. You're 18 years old and you have a choice. You can either go to college for four years and we're just gonna use a cost. It's a SUNY school upstate here in New York, $30,000 a year. Or you can work at McDonald's as a manager for $30,000 a year, okay? You have a choice to make. And this is the whole idea of opportunity cost. Every thing that you decide has a cost to it. So in this example, if you decide to go to a four-year college and you know it's gonna cost you 30,000 a year, and you know you're going to have to take most of that out in debt, then that's $120,000 in four years in debt. That's not the true opportunity cost because you have to factor, factor in what you're giving up in that decision. Now, in this scenario, you're a manager at McDonald's making $30,000 a year, but now you're going to school full time, so you have to give up that job. So now you're not making $30,000 a year, you're in debt $30,000 a year. So the true opportunity cost of this decision is $240,000. Because in four years, you would have made $120,000 at this job versus in four years, you would have gotten a degree that cost you $120,000, but you've given up the income so it actually cost you another $120,000. This is what opportunity cost means. And you can apply it to every part of your life. Every opportunity, everything that you do, there's a cost to that. Say you're a fat ass and you wanna start getting into shape and you create a gym regimen and you're ready to go and you know you have 24 hours in a day, just like everybody else. When we start a new idea, or we start a new fitness regimen, or a new goal, we don't take into account time. Again, we're ignoring opportunity costs. What are we get willing to give up in our current schedule in order to meet this new goal? We all have 24 hours in a day. We all have to eat. We all have to sleep. We all have a job of some form that we have to go to, and we all have external responsibilities. Maybe you have kids, they have sport programs, you have house chores. You all have very limited amount of time that you can give up or that you can do for yourself. So when you're creating a new goal, when you're creating a new plan, you really need to look at this. You really need to know what the opportunity cost is. Is this worth it? Is getting healthier worth it to me? And if so, what am I willing to give up? Remember, time is just like energy. You can't create more of it. You can only redistribute it. So every new activity that you implement into your life, by definition, means you have to give up something else. Now, if you're just starting a new workout regimen and you decide to get up at five in the morning instead of 7.30, well, you gave up time. You gave up two and a half hours of sleeping in order to get to the gym. And often what happens is we're really good at maybe a couple days, a week, a month of doing that. And then we fall back into our own paradigm. And we realize, you know what? I really need that extra two and a half hours of sleep. It's really important for me to wake up and not be rushed to maybe flip through Facebook or Instagram, have a nice meal, and then go to work. I'm not making a value judgment on you as a person. I just need you to realize you made a choice. You either had the choice to continue at five in the morning, get up, go to the gym, 
put in the time, put in the work, jump in the shower, chug down a protein drink, and then get to work. Or you have a choice of getting up at 7.30, making a nice meal, flipping through Facebook, whatever your routine was, and then going to work. Those are the choices. And so when you are coming up with a new goal, when you are coming up with a new idea, maybe you want to start a new job, maybe you want to ask a girl out, maybe you want to get a divorce, all of these you need to look back into what is the opportunity cost? What's worth more to you? Playing video games or actually going out and meeting new people and developing a social circle? What's more important to you? Hanging out with your friends at the bar or actually going to the gym to train. But if you're not willing to do any of that, again, there's no value judgment against you. It's just a choice you make. And every single time you fall back into your own paradigm, you don't get brownie points, you don't get attaboys, you don't get, hey, well, you tried. That doesn't fly in this channel. That doesn't fly if you're truly trying to level up. What it basically means is you didn't want it bad enough. The opportunity cost you didn't want bad enough. And that's okay. That's completely fine. But what you can't live is you can't live in denial. You can't say, well, I'm going to make an excuse why I'm still overweight because I don't have the time. I'm going to make the excuse I'm just not good with women because I just don't have time to get out there. Everything that you decide, there's a cost to. I need you to understand that, I need to drill that into your heads. This is one of the biggest issues you have that's hindering your own success, your own goals, your own dreams, is not taking into account fully considering this opportunity cost and what I'm willing to give up versus what I'm willing to gain. If you found this video of value, helpful, maybe it pissed you off, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your comments, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you're still stuck in this and you're looking for more information or maybe some more ways that you can create a blueprint for your life to help level you up, jump on a free coaching call with me. It takes about an hour. If we decide we're a good fit together, we can create an action plan together that I'm going to hold you accountable for so that you can actually level yourself up. But everything comes at a cost. You have to understand in life, if you're willing to put in the time, if you're willing to sacrifice, if you're willing to maybe take a few hits, you will succeed. But if you still stay in the comfort zone where most people do, it's fine. Just know you're never going to be any further than that comfort zone. Comfort zone is where people go to die. It's where your dreams go to die. My name is Jared Skewmaker. This is Magnetic Men's Club. Please hit like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so we can know when new videos are being dropped. With that, have a great day.